Ah, welcome back to Top 5. Oh, how I've missed this show. Today we're taking a look at five terrible celebrity video games. But before we get started, let's talk about a game that did not make this list, because I know it's going to be in the comments. 50 Cent's poorly titled Bulletproof. I mean, 50 Cent was shot nine times, and none of those bullets bounced off. If anything, the game should be called Bullet Sponge or Bullet Magnet. Calling it Bulletproof is kind of like calling Sasha Gray Penis Proof. The game is repetitive with terrible shooting mechanics, but it actually has decent visuals for when it came out, and the voice acting isn't terrible. Look, I'm not defending this game, but the sad truth is there are worse celebrity games out there. So let's count them down. Five. Starting center with the number 5 spot on the list is Shaq Fu. Yes, Shaq Fu, the Mortal Kombat ripoff where Shaquille O'Neal goes to Tokyo for some reason, enters a random dojo, and is transported to a mystical realm where he has to fight a mummy. All of which is more believable than a studio actually thinking Kazam was going to be a good movie. You realize who I am? I mean, if you're going to make a video game about Shaquille O'Neal in Tokyo, why not go the Godzilla route and have him knocking over buildings and stomping on locals? That's a game I'd play. Shaquille O'Neal vs. Mechagodzilla, not a game yet, but it can't be that hard to acquire the rights to both of those things. Make it happen, game studios. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, uh, Shaq Fu, let's talk about gameplay. Shaq controls like a Ford F-150 with its power steering disabled and has a move called the Shaq Hurricane. That's a Shaq Shuriken. A Shakurikin. Now before we move on to the next game on the list, let's do a dramatic reading of Shaq Fu's pre-fight dialogue. Where is Set Ra? Your magic can't hurt me, girlfriend. My magic has never lost a match, and I am not your girlfriend. Four. Taking the number four spot on the list is the Spice Girls game Spice World. In this game, the Spice Girls voice poorly animated nightmare creatures that I saw in a fever dream during a bad mushroom trip. Nice to see you. Come along with me. Follow the directions droned at you by the disembodied head of this obvious sexual predator, and you'll remix a song or learn some dance moves or something. Then pull the whole anorexic team together for some kind of performance thing, I think. I don't know. And to be honest, seeing this footage is re-triggering some traumatic memories for me, so I'm going to move on to the next game now. Three. Coming in at number three is the Duck Dynasty video game. Yeah, they have a video game, and they voice themselves. Poorly. Actually, I can't tell if the voice acting in the game is terrible, or if the writing is just terrible. Or both. Probably both. You can shoot ducks in this game with graphics that are slightly better than Duck Hunt, but without the silly dog, so an overall less fun experience than Duck Hunt. You can listen to the Duck Dynasty people talk, which, if the show is any indication, will kill brain cells. You can walk around with a metal detector, something I wouldn't want to do in real life, and want to do even less in a video game. Basically, you can do a bunch of boring stuff in a terribly rendered environment. That sums it up. The sad part is, this could have been a good game, if you had focused like, on the making of the show. You could have played as a cameraman trying to avoid getting Lyme disease from tick fights while filming the Robertsons, or play as a Discovery Channel executive trying to deal with public backlash after one of your TV reality stars makes offensive comments about homosexuals. And now there's grown men barging in on you ladies when you're putting your Maybelline on. I'd play that game. Sounds challenging. Two. Number two on the list is Marky Mark's breakout video game failure, Make My Video. The game title sounds like something an intoxicated Wahlberg might shout at an unlucky editing intern while doing lines of coke off a stripper's ass. Marky Mark, who once assaulted an Asian man with a stick because he happened to be Asian, created a game where apparently you choose from one of three stock footage videos while listening to a song from the Funky Bunch. I'm not gonna lie and say I played this game, but I have seen the gameplay footage. And now you will too! Here's 10 seconds of uninterrupted gameplay footage. Felt longer than 10 seconds, didn't it? Now while it is wrong to judge a video game without playing it, it's also wrong to commit a hate crime against an Asian person. So I guess we're even, Marky. Your game is garbage. What? No! What? And number one on my list is Kim Kardashian's video game. Yes, Kim Kardashian, reality TV star and night vision sex tape maker, decided to release a video game. And it is one of the most shallow, pointless, god-awful excuses for a game I've ever seen. It's some kind of decision-making sim where you play a character whose only goal seems to be to get famous. At first you might think, hey, Kim K is taking a cue from Bioware and having different decisions you make in the game affect the outcome of the game. Nope. No matter what you choose, the game forces you to do Kim's bidding and follow what passes for a story in this steaming pile of dog feces. But you can do more than just make decisions that don't matter. You can straighten a shirt on a mannequin by tapping on it, and buy clothes by tapping on them, or stand in front of train tracks by tapping on them. Just kidding, you can't do that last one, but it's what I wanted to make the Avatar do. And just when you thought this game couldn't get any worse, Kim hits you with the microtransactions. 
so she can prey on people who want Kim's approval and fame so badly that they will spend ridiculous amounts of money. Like this blogger who spent $500 on the game and then gave it a positive review. I know we're just having fun here, but please stop doing what you're doing. And the microtransactions don't even do anything except speed up the game by removing the artificial slowdown the game creates by forcing you to rest. Microtransactions, terrible dialogue, tap to do stuff gameplay, this game is actually pulling the worst features from various other terrible freemium games into one horrible experience. It's basically the lupus of video games. And it has definitely earned its place as the worst celebrity video game ever. Well, that's it. If I left out any terrible games that you thought should have been on this list, go ahead and tell me about them in the comments. That's all for this Top 5. I'll see you next time. I have a few vices in life, and one of them is men. Can't spell addiction. Said men, not men, just so we're all clear. Where's he at? He's in that room, all to right. the left. Yeah, we'll... Okay, sneak up. First, I'm gonna read a review. I ordered this blank for my niece. It looks so cheap. The items were not in their proper place. I paid $12 for it, and doesn't worth it at all. <laughs>